So let, let's talk a little bit about what you do now by Michigan now. Let's just assume that some people don't know what that is. So why don't you explain? So by Michigan now they started about 13 years ago, uh, trying to encourage people to help revitalize our economy at a time when we desperately needed it by buying from Michigan made businesses and buying Michigan made products. And honestly, I didn't think that it would be more needed than it was then until now. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Matt. I mean, back then, I, I mean, our unemployment rate was about eight and a half percent. And, you know, it seemed like the end of the world was coming economically. And, uh, and, and that was the impetus. I was trying to figure out what, what could I do to be a part of it? What could I do to help? And, and one of the few things you could do was there was hardly any tools out there for people to try to figure out what was a locally made product, what was a Michigan based business, all those kinds of things. When I couldn't find the tools, I decided to create some tools. Um, which is what we have now at buymichigannow.com. And um, gosh, right now, I, I think it's even more necessary than ever. So you're looking awfully festive there with the Christmas tree in the background. Um, <laughs> well, if you're going to talk holiday gifts, you know, why not? Yeah, and I, I know you've got a holiday gift guide. So you said you could show us a few items from the gift guide and sort of explain how it works. So why don't we do that now? Sure. Um, it just so happens that beneath my tree, every item you see here is <laughs> made convenient. in Michigan. Yes, yes. Um, so uh, here's something I love for this year. This is a these are journals from a company called Journals Unlimited in Bay City, and hmm. they've got everything from small ones that are books I've read to um, fishing, so you can record great fishing spots. To this one's family memories, and it's not just a blank journal. It actually asks questions to guide people, um, but you know, with all the homeschooling that's happening, a tool like this is, is a great thing. Uh, and I found the one that we recommended in the gift guide was family memories, but really, um, I, I, I think I would have given anything to have a record of what my family thought about going through the Spanish flu pandemic in 1918. So not only for yourself as an experience, but something to, to pass on to future generations that they can look back and see you know, what everybody was going through and, and what it felt like to experience the time that we're going through right now. So, and as we've discussed, this will probably not be the last pandemic. There'll probably be other versions of it in the future. So I think that's absolutely true. Um, this one's another one of my favorites. This is from a company called Detroit, Detroit Shirt Company. If you can see the bottom, unsalted shark free, oh, yeah. um, the Michigan <laughs> Shield, but a little bit of humor added to that. Um, they're a, they're a company out of Grand Blank. Um, we have a lot of books in the gift guide. This is another one for women, um, Great Lakes Girl. This is a company called Living Fresh that makes these really cool things um, in all kinds of different sizes and styles. And they make a lot more than just that. Um, when people go to the gift guide, they can search. Uh, we have 200 items across 20 different categories. Wow. So there's things for babies. There's for her. There's for him. There's food categories there's things for the home there's things to stock your bar um things to help in the kitchen all kinds of different categories books by michigan authors um we have more than 30 books by michigan authors that are in the gift guide this year and so when you go into the gift guide you might love the item that we put in there like the family journal that i showed or you might just want to click on the link to that company's website to either buy that item or search all the other things that that company makes so that's the reason that we designed it the way that we did. Um, every year we pick out items that we specifically like for that year. But if you click on that link, not only can you buy, you can actually look and say, hey, um, not that sweatshirt, but this one about camping in Michigan or, you know, not that journal, but this one about fishing or whatever. I don't know. I just went outdoors all the way there. But, <laughs> but the other items, maybe not that piece of jewelry, but gosh, I really like this one. Or maybe I'm going to get one for one person and one for another. And of course, the point being is this is clearly all Michigan made, right? So, I mean, we're helping the local economy. Yeah, everything is um, not only Michigan made, but Michigan businesses um, selling it. So, for example, I mentioned the uh, authors, the books by Michigan authors. If you click, click on the link to that book, you can learn more about that book, but you can either buy it directly from the author or it's going to take you to an independent bookstore to buy it. Oh, so nice. um, it's another way of, and then again, once you click on the link, you get to that independent bookstore. Books are a great gift. Look for whatever other books you might, who else is on your list that might benefit from a book and buy five of them from that independent bookstore and help keep them in business at a time that's really, I mean, they're in a challenging situation facing 
Amazon and things like that, as well as, as possibly being closed. Um, so there's a lot of challenges for people reading on Kindles instead of books. So what, yep. uh, what are the more popular items? What's, what's people buying more of than, than say other things? I think this year with good reason, and we do it so well here, food is really popular. Part of it has to do with the fact that um, a lot of people started cooking that maybe weren't cooking before. We have a company called Fessler's that's in our gift guide and, and we put um, four different spice blends in there that they have because if you've just started cooking over this pandemic, like a lot of people did, then um, these spice blends where you don't have to come up with your own recipe, but just toss them in with something are a great way to kind of take your game up another notch. There are people that are in need of essential foods. And so if you do something like a gift basket uh, filled with, you know, just basic essentials that, that people want and need that are Michigan brands that can get them through. There are people that are only buying um, the things that they need to literally just feed their family and get by. And maybe something that's nut brittle from granny's confections is a huge treat that they wouldn't be able to have otherwise, you know, no matter who it is. I think we all understand that if you've got kids and they have to have the latest game, okay, fine. But for the most part, almost everybody has people on their list that um, they're buying for. If you're buying for an adult, I challenge you that you can't find something that they would like amongst these 200 plus items that we have available to keep those dollars local. Whenever and, I went up to Traverse City, I didn't mean to step on you there, Matt. Uh, my dad, when he was alive, mm -hmm. uh, always I was under instructions to bring back peanut brittle from Mackinac City Fudge. That was his thing. He, you know, I'd be waiting for me when I arrived at the door, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, but, this Granny's Confections is, is in Howell and as an example, uh, some of these places too, if, if they actually have a store, you, if you might not have to deal with the shipping, I, you know, they will come and meet you at the curb and, and bring it to your car in some of these places as well. So that's ah, the other thing to think about. Sure. You're also looking to branch into business to business services a little bit. Talk a little bit about that if you would. Yeah, we've always, we've always done that. So any Michigan based business is invited to join our campaign. In fact, encourage would be a better word. Um, which they can do for free or they be can become paid members. Right now, um, we're actually offering 40% off paid membership to try to give people a break during this difficult time. Um, so then go to our website and, and see that. As a matter of fact, before I go to the B2B, uh, we have a whole section of deals. And we thought about uh, the Amazon Prime days and how could a little guy compete with that? So we went out to companies and asked them if they wanted to offer deals. So right now on, on our holiday page, in addition to finding the gift guide, you can find bargains from more than two dozen Michigan companies. And one of those is, is our opportunity for people to uh, buy a membership at a discounted rate. But um, where do we do, you can do, we do features. Uh, we have a new website, our, our, I mean, our existing website relaunched quietly during the pandemic because it wasn't really appropriate to make a big deal out of it. But in that um, we identified um, nine different uh, niches that we think uh, we can help really serve and grow. So there's food, there's beverages, um, technology is one, mobility is one. Um, basically industries style, industries that we think not only can we impact, but that really represent what the state is all about. Uh, and so um, we do a lot of features in, in those areas on businesses that are growing in those ways as well. So it's a fit for both. And in particular right now, because so many Michigan businesses are struggling, um, we're looking for companies to partner with that might be interested in offering a discount on their B2B services to these struggling small businesses to help them. You know, one of the things that I read, now this is a couple of years old, but I read a study a couple of years ago that only 59% of Michigan businesses had a website. That was a couple of years ago. It might be better, but it's pretty low, right? Yeah. Um, and so that maybe was okay before. Um, but now in the situation that they're, we're in, if they haven't figured out a way to sell online, we really have to help them figure out a way to sell online because we don't know how long this is going to go on. And, and Mike, as you said earlier, we, we don't know when the next pandemic may come. come along. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be another, unfortunately. So Yeah, I, th I think you're absolutely right about that. So, so if there's companies out there that do web hosting or web development or SEO or, you know, any of those things that might help these companies get a, get an upper hand on doing that. And they want to partner with us. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to take those calls. So. Well, we're going to have to leave it at that. Lisa, we'll get you back on the show after the holidays to do a recap of what was selling really well, but why don't you tell folks one more time how they can find you on the web. 
So go to buy, that's B-U-Y, Michigan, now, N-O-W.com. And the deals and all the holiday stuff is on a dedicated page called Holiday. Sounds good. Additional four-year students love Lawrence Technological University's thriving campus life. But LTU has always met non-traditional students' needs, too. Lawrence Tech offers over 100 degree and certificate programs that can get adult students started or back on track. And most of our classes are conveniently offered evenings at our beautiful Southfield campus or online so you can balance your social, family, and work life even while you power up your career. Lawrence Tech, where blue devils dare.